I want some cash though as well. Oh no 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 no! I already agreed to the terms no, here. No. Never How much mind, cash man. do you want? A uh, one million. Okay, I'll give you one million. That's that's penny These change. Right? Uh, that's so, uh, Deal's already... a deal though. That's final. They're okay, already... so this is it, uh, in Shaku or whatever the fuck it's called. Yep. They're already uh, beating uh, France and Russia now, so they don't really need your help. But uh, if you would do join, uh, Russia may rage quit. FYI. Uh, because he's going to lose that war, and I don't think he's going to want that. We have All right, enable money receive is on. So, Japan, you can go to war with Russia, I don't even care. Did you get this? You'll win. No. I just gave you 50k? No, I didn't. Oh, wait, no, I did. I did. I got that. 50k. Alright, there. No, oh, disable money. That's good. So, Japan, you're gonna declare war on Russia? Your islands? Yep. I'm ready. If you take uh, his east, entire east side, that's a lot of fucking coastline. I'm gonna take the west side. Good fight, Japan. Good west? Fight. Very good. It's from the movie, Ew. West Side Story. No doubt no. our experience, though, for our soldiers is fucking absurd. Yeah, our, the, our we have like nine star fucking leaders now, and our generals are ridiculous. Hey, Cynical, do you think I'm getting better at the game, though? Huh? Do you think I'm getting better, better at the game, though? Yeah, but I'm not gonna lie, that whole shenanigans with you having all those rebels in Brazil getting yeah, more immigrants than you is a little shaky yeah but i just lost a war to japan as a chinese player so i can't really talk right now because i'm in pretty bad conditions well i didn't really well, i technically won the hey, war are you but i should I mean, are be you gonna dominating take land? him are you gonna take land from russia then i am yeah, I, i'm I, getting I, ready I mean, to kind of if you're gonna join and help out you might as well yeah i'm gonna take some stuff tell Maybe. me when you're ready uh, tell me when you're ready jake because i'm like ready whenever just trying to uh i just need to move my troops User around left your channel Oh yeah, we should give each other military access. Perfect. I think I need to give it to you too. Why does the Ottomans want it? Fuck. Whatever Ottomans. Here. I guess. User I mean, joined I the guess. Alright, yeah. They're, they're Russia's army is getting his ass beat <laughs> over there. UK is doing so bad. What's the UK doing? He keeps saying one stacks in the battles in France. But he's losing war score by a good bit, and he's losing troops. Like, they're getting wiped. God damn, my fucking militaries are a wreck now, dude. No, like, you'll win. fucking, all my shit's merged into <laughs> one, so I have, like, I have, like, a brigade with, like, nine dragoons and, like, 50 artillery. I have to go back through and sort it all. Jesus. You'll easily, guys, you'll easily win. Russia's military got wrecked. And... This is a nightmare. I'm not gonna even fucking mobilize. My country cannot handle that right now. Yeah, dude, now. J Russia's on... Russia's dead. I'm number four in the world now. No, I still got prestige from that, which is nice. Well, I lost a bunch from that battle. I think I lost 10 prestige from that battle. Yeah, I only lost 12 per I mean, uh, 10 prestige that war. Or no, 11 prestige. Making like nine more battleships. You shunk my battleship. Oh, you guys were ended. My population think, growth. My population growth dropped so fucking hard after you guys ended that war. I'm only at uh, 48,000. What did you guys do? I'm actually kind of curious. Uh, that was you know. a brutal fucking war, though. Holy shit. Kind of, what um, are you going to be taking? A Gazakistan area, or? I might just help Dan and not dismantle Russia, because I feel bad. I well, just want, uh, bad, but... You should get that oil in a uh, Gazakistan area. Uh, Zenzu. Uh, Make sure when you declare the war, Dan, you tell them that's the only province you're getting. Alright, sounds good. I'm going to pause and tell Oh, Cynical, if you take a Zetsu, you get gold and oil. And coal. I'm posh. Wow, Why yeah. am I posh? No, Master Japan. 
But cynical, uh, the the thing that borders you, Zetsu, uh, has coal, gold, and coil, all in one uh, state. Are you going to type it, Dan? Yeah, I just finished typing it. He's probably not Russia, he's probably just going to surrender it. Unless he wants to make peace. No. Nope. Uh, is he risking it? He's going to send his navy right, over there. What the fuck? Toast disconnected. Yeah, yeah I, gotta I gotta go. go. Oh, okay. User disconnected from your channel. Can you call me? No, I haven't even started the war yet. Oh yeah, you need to declare the war, dude. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to. Oh, what the fuck? You don't have cores on it. Okay. Did you declare it? Uh... No, I have not. I got the actual. I forgot to get the claim. <laughs> I need to get the claim. Wow. That's nice. Jesus Christ! I forgot to actually get the. Well, claim. I thought I had already a core for it. Uh -oh. really surrendered. Yeah, Russia surrendered. So when I'm is gonna move UK my troops gonna give up? Then. Jesus Christ! I don't even think he realized I was going to join the war either. Get coal and oil. Yeah. Hell, you honestly might as well just take more than just that. If you take his entire east coast, you get more ports to make him a larger navy. I'd be down. Yeah, Japan. Or uh, either, either one who wants a larger navy might as well. I got the largest, maybe. Well, if you want to, I think the rest of this game, one, I'm just gonna chill and space. try to stabilize my country. Tough goal. Wait, do I? I want to make sure what? Yeah, I know. I'm about to fucking take him out once I get this claim. Nearing completion. Take all Russia's east coast, just YOLO. I don't know if I'll have the infamy for that, is the only thing. I'll just take as much as you can then. Manic. Yeah, France has completely collapsed. France has no more troops, and uh, uh, UK pulled out of it. UK pulled out of France. He didn't. He knew he's not. It's St. Patrick's Day today. Huh? What the fuck? I didn't even know that. Oh wow! I was eating a corned beef earlier. That makes more Are you sense. Irish or you not Irish? I don't give a fuck. I'm probably Irish. Aren't we all mixed races he's Nebraskan. here? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm Irish. Who fucking knows though, dude? I'm like fucking 70 different races, like every other American. Oh. Oh, well, next army tech came out. Our guys. ancestors just decided to fuck everything during World War II, so it pretty much messed everything up. Our genetics. Yeah, no more pure Aryans. <sighs> fucking damn it, hey, my ancestors start both world wars. What are you talking about? <laughs> God, fucking playing China sucks ass. I just want to tell everybody, never play China. Just do yourself a favor. Never play China. Just don't do it. It's so, so lame. lame. There isn't shit to do. I mean, it's like, you have shit tech. You get these pop-ups called Root Out Corruption that I've literally had pop up, like, I can't even, I'm not even exaggerating, 40 times. They come up and they give you negative 5 population and plus 5 militancy. Oh yeah, and you have a ticking 276 militancy per day so wait why is petco a food Japan, you're gonna want to hurry with the claim i don't think russia's gonna <laughs> surrender when he's not at war anymore and that war is probably gonna end soon Japan, are you getting the claim 
Uh, he is getting the claim. I I'm almost, I've almost got it. He'll be left with one area though uh, on land. He'll be left with uh, Halanana Tapo, which is technically should be a part of China, but. Oh yeah. You should take that. It's one. I don't have a core it. on it anymore though. It's Kamchatka's core now. You could just add a war goal on it. I made a deal with them a long time ago to give them all of Manchuria, by the way, and it never went through. I guess. Like I literally made a deal. I was like, "Don't go to war with me, and I'll give you Manchuria." He's like, "Okay." You guys stuck in another war. No, this is like 1836 style. I made that deal. It's because when I was on Civ, I didn't want to get fucked. I didn't want to have to worry about Russia with Japan right there. And it, it, it worked. I mean, it kept Japan at bay until that event fired. And then he got the event war and then the second event war. And really the only other person that did anything against me was Portugal, but I beat him. Yeah, you couldn't beat Japan, though. Oh, did I, did I just win the Olympics? Did I get the Olympics? I think I did. Yeah, because, I don't know. Oh, the UK is trying to uh, go in the mountains and uh, we're on a border with Spain, just in case. It's like, you shall not pass. See, listen, listen, I just got another pop-up. Root them out. This cannot be permuted. South Han artisans and Kuzu population changed by negative five. Gain three militancy. Gain six consciousness. Then I, this province get, that gets an open revolt. It gives it a 25 militancy for two years. Yeah, wow. that's awesome. I get that pop-up like six times a year. It's awesome, dude. I love it. You know, there's no reason why I'm getting all this, but I'm getting it. Well, your country's taking that, like, homogenous. It's uh, very, uh, very not, uh, cause even today, it's really not really the best place. Honestly, I truly believe China, like, if, if the world doesn't end, I believe China would end up like the Soviet Union where it collapses and multiple countries that break off. Yeah, IRL? exactly what's yeah, going to happen. Yeah, happen. yeah. That's, that is what's going to happen. I agree, too. I think in the next 10 years, but here's what you need to understand. When communism falls in China, that's the end of the Western world. Well, at least as we know it. Because what's going to happen is all the Chinese people are going to saturate the world. We're going to have Chinese people literally everywhere. Everywhere you fucking look, there's going to be Chinese people working, taking jobs, moving to our countries. If if China goes into mutiny, just imagine. It'd be like the refugee crisis in the Middle East times 1,000. Exactly. There are so many fucking people there. We already have a lot of Chinese in the U.S., so, so it's not going to be that bad. Yeah, but the Chinese I mean, Europe, in the U.S., Europe, they don't have, much. like... They don't have a tendency of like you know crashing a plane into a building yeah, or like a super mall. Okay, Dan. Okay, Dan. Okay, Dan. But, 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 Danny, but Danny, when that, that a... number of Chinese that's currently in the U.S. intensifies by a thousand percent, would you really think it's going to be the same? Um, there's going to be people to get upset. No, no, no. I don't, I don't are agree with letting in. I don't agree with letting in any like Chinese in that large of a number. That would just be bad because then you'd end up like a situation like they had in Texas. Where there were so many white people in Texas, they're like, why the fuck should we be a part of Mexico and they form their own country? It's kind of like that in California. We've got so many Asian people in San Francisco and shit. And okay, but what like, about the means of production? You're, you're underestimating the means of production. The Middle Easterners don't produce 90% of the world goods, Dan. The Chinese do. So what's going to happen to that production when these countries oh, fall It's going to move to Indonesia via Nam. Um, yeah. Indonesia uh, is not even Thailand. Dude, I'm Indonesia. Saying multiple, I'm, Whoa, I'm I found the North Pole. First to the okay, North I'm, Pole. Okay, China I'm found the North Pole, boys. Okay, but I'm saying move to different countries like <laughs> Vietnam, I got Indonesia, 105 Malaysia, prestige and stuff like from that. that. Also, cynical. China's trying to move away from all that production as well, even today. Hell, they uh, Japan has more uh, has more of the U.S. debt than China does That's now. Awesome, China's dude. actually trying to move away from. Okay, the US. debt has nothing to do with production, means Dova. I know, I know, but China's the debt. They, the production of they Dova, control in the Dova, world is going Dova. down. Seventy. Like, okay, no, 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 that's, that's, I think it was 62% of the domestic product in the world is produced by, by China. Yeah, but it's going down. It's, if, it's, the more if, India becomes... if the numbers even decreased by 40%, that's a, that's a global crisis. That's a lot of cats' lives at stake. That's a lot dogs. of your clothes. That's a lot of your fucking keyboard. That's a lot of the, every plastic good in your home you have, gone. 
Well, India is no, it doesn't just disappear. Not being it doesn't just disappear. They have to. The price you would have to just up. buy it from somewhere else. So we'd have to buy. Okay, so American who, who, made who goods else is shit. gonna who else is gonna pick up? Dude, the dude, country. Say Africa. India. Africa India can't even build roads. They're not gonna build factories. They're not gonna westernize. How it's gonna take them another Nigeria. fifty years to even catch Nigeria up to where China is. building factories. Malaysia's factories. Indonesia's factories. Thailand has factories. Vietnam has factories. Malaysia and Indonesia don't have even close to seventy percent of the population that China has. It doesn't has. matter. That'll there's be more what, people what, working in China oh right now than there are people living in Indonesia. Yeah. If if okay. If somebody if they stop making our fucking so stoves and ovens, then there's gonna be a high demand for fucking stoves and ovens, and that will allow other countries and other companies to start fucking making those so now, anything africa, will fill africa, the void over time africa is becoming more westernized over time well. there's be gonna be a, a period of like 10 years where the world economy is destroyed Wait, when is no, this when no. is this do they have a fucking date on like this nigeria it's like those i'm they, i'm I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm uh i'm here's here's the thing dan i'm uh rebuttaling the argument that dova was making about china falling apart and what would happen that's uh, that's 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 all i'm talking about if china fell apart this is what would happen oh okay i thought you were talking like no i'm not saying this Alex is a ticking time bomb Pers like, personally i do believe china is is uh in the phase of where they're going to reverse communism and i think that once that happens we're going to see chinese people moving all around the world and trying to leave because all these poor poor villages that you don't even hear about in china that have millions of people that are twice the size of new york that are poor they're gonna leave they're gonna go somewhere else they're gonna migrate to russia to india they're gonna saturate the world uh, but, population but with, the U with the u.s though it's not a bad thing the u.s is completely capable of handling we already have t um, like, tons of chinese people how our uh, asian population will actually even su will actually surpass our african-american population so there's not even 30 years. million chinese people living in america i know but i'm saying our Asian population again. Like There's 2.5 billion people in China. That's just a bad idea okay. to bring in that large of a group. That you know, if there's so many, like if I, if you go into San Francisco where it's like mostly all Asians, none of the signs are in English. It's all fucking in Chinese. And it's like, first off, okay, I ha but also Chinese people have a, are different than the Syrians. They're more likely to defend their country than to just leave. I'm, I'm no offense to Syrians, but they don't defend their country for shit. A lot of them. A lot of them are leaving. Here's here's my idea though. Like... Okay, I, here's something I foreseen. I just want to spit all this because I want to see what you guys have to say about this. So let's say 15 years. All right, China goes into a civil war. The Chinese people are leaving. Hundreds of millions of Chinese people are immigrating from China, or, and they're leaving the country. Let's say 30 million Chinese try to enter the United States. The United States allows a portion of them in. How do you think the populace in America would react to Chinese coming into the country and working for poor wages, working for three dollars an hour and taking they all can. the They'll, hard labor they jobs? They accept them. They will have. They will get a cards. Therefore, they will have. To, they have to pay the minimum wage. It mm. To be a construction worker? Okay, so let's say these Chinese people, they go, they take up all the construction jobs. You don't need to have a degree to be a construction worker or sniping flute. They'll then hire a Mexican cool, off the, the street. Just like the Mexican the jobs we have in America cynical. today. Cynical, cynical. Every year, wait, wait, wait. every year, the world depends less and less on China. Also, a lot of things are coming automated as well. What do you think about this, Dan? What do you think about that? I, I want Dan's opinion. I already heard you guys' opinion. I... Dan, what do you think about... Well, I think, it, you know, if we let them all there, I don't think college would be any more useful. I think college usefulness is going down. What do you think, yeah, what do you think Tama? Tama? Is Tama even there? No, he's in other chat, I think, still. Oh, he's here. Chinese people have a totally different country culture, though. Cynical, the United States doesn't have a big anti-Chinese view, like, our people don't really mind them. Chinese people are technically Dude, very hard workers, but, but and they value education. that would change if they, were, if they were taking all the jobs. If there was no, if there was no uh, jobs open. Yeah, but we've, the, already, there's so many people brainwashed in the country, and they're becoming the majority. I think, I think it's kind of too late. Uh, I think there's so many people brainwashed in the country from the school system that it's kind of too late well, like said, to do hey, that hey, much hold, about people coming why, here. I highly doubt hundreds of millions of people will actually leave the country. The majority of them don't leave. They have a view that they have to stay home. They're, that's not even government propaganda. They have to stay. The Chinese government doesn't want their people to leave even. That's a big thing. They want them to stay. So I, I highly doubt hundreds of millions help. I highly doubt even a hundred million will actually be able to even get to the U.S. But, but we will probably get millions in the U.S. But the thing is, are you United saying the Chinese won't enter the United States? No, I'm not saying that at all. I, I, they I, will. I, I, they I will. I know, I the same I, way they did in the, say, in the 18th century. I didn't century. say they wouldn't. Did I ever say they didn't? No. I said we will still get millions, if not tens of millions of them. 
yes, but they're also hard. They're they're much different than hell. They're people would rather have Chinese people than Mexicans in our own country. So I, I mean, disagree. If they're taking the jobs, what's the difference between a Chinese? Most and of our jobs would be on. Yeah, more and more jobs are becoming more and more automated every Dova. single year. Dova, illegal aliens still control like seven percent or eight percent of the current uh, job market. At least here in Las Vegas, they do. You live where? You live in fucking uh, Florida. Florida. You live in Florida. You don't. You don't understand. There's Mexicans everywhere here. If there's a job, all right. If, if there's if there's a lawn service that comes in and and uh, cuts your grass, I, we've had we've dealt with like six different lawn services. Every single time, it's been a Mexican. Oh, yeah, you're the Mexicans, right. the illegal yeah, aliens. This is this is what they do. They take up the the workflow of cheap jobs right. because that they happened, don't demand as much money for their labor. Florida, dude, we have that same here thing. But a lot so of that's my point. Could you imagine though. that intensified? Because Mexico there's, has there's automated lawnmowers that do everything instead of hiring people. All you do is one person. They just sit in a fucking chair and they just fucking. They don't the thing care around. about that investment if they could hire a Chinese that works for a dollar an hour. What like what they're doing now? Chinese people they make like thirty cents. What thirty cents an hour to work in a factory? Could you imagine what it would be like if they immigrated here? They would want thirty cents, a dollar. They wouldn't give a fuck because that's even more money than they're making now. That's true. They said we won't. Okay, we won't. This is things you have to worry about. Dude. We this, this is literally like this is what I think about. This is what we're gonna have to worry also, about. Also, you also. How do you, I'm not worried about go fucking there the Middle them. East. Who cares? Because this that's that's such a minuscule issue of what we're going to see. Like I said, in 10 the, years. the Chinese have a much different culture. I can tell you right now, they'll be a lot less you than you think. Like unlike, unlike the Middle East, the Chinese have a more of a stay at home and defend your culture, type, defend your homeland. But type there's of so the many of them, Dova. Even if 90% of the population stayed home and fight, that 10% would still be bigger, 10 yeah, times bigger the entire, than the Middle Eastern population. Not even 9% will all go to the USA. Less than one percent, much less than one percent, will be heading to the USA. Remember, majority that one, of that majority will travel through 1 land. One percent of of Chinese population is still like ten million. Now I'm messing less than one million. Okay, let, let's be realistic, and this is this is like giving them the benefit of the doubt. If we give them even point five, yeah, that's a lot. But that even that point five, all of them won't even be accepted. That's just the ones applying actually getting to the USA. Legal There'll be millions immigration. going to Canada, much more illegal, illegal, illegal immigration. Illegal immigration. They don't need to get in legally. Oh Jesus! I just realized. How are they going to get in across the, the ocean? Unlike like Mexico, like they go through a border. Yeah, much harder. They're going to go to Mexico and they're going to cross the border just like the Mexicans do. Are they going to? There's so how, many how ways they, they can get to Mexico. It. They don't have no money. They can't afford a plane ticket. There will be you a don't wall need, there. You don't need a plane ticket, dude. Dude, in in the 19th century, 600,000 Chinese workers came and built our railways. How do you think that California became so Asian? Okay. That's how they, they got here. I don't okay. I don't know exactly they logistically did how they got the here, but they got here. Not all of them built the railroads. That's a common misconception. Well, a lot okay, of they, they went through boats. Well, well like these poor people can't even afford boats. Hell, they're gonna build fucking rafts, and the rafts are gonna fucking sink. There was, I, think it, I think it was six hundred and twenty three thousand. That was the number of Asians that immigrated to San Francisco. I could be wrong. Six hundred twenty-three thousand. I Russia's think is what it was in the nineteenth the century. They're gonna be fucking. They're gonna be migrating to Russia and start building fucking homes in Russia. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That, but I'm thinking right now. Russia, Russia, if, India. I already said that. That Russia, India. They're gonna resettle. They're gonna resettle and they're gonna go to Europe. No, it's India's gonna be a probably nightmare. not gonna really let that much in. Okay. It's gonna be a fucking nightmare. It's gonna be a dude. I'm gonna say Europe's gonna have more of them than U.S. is. And then we're gonna be confronted. We're gonna be confronted with this liberal ideology of just let everybody in. It's gonna we're gonna be confronted what? harshly what? to what that reality. That depends. In 15 years, the U.S. would either be more, uh, much more liberal or much more conservative. Or this is so nice but not having to research military tech for once in my life. Educational wise, our university us. educational wise, we're not supposed to uh, have pol political bias. It was actually illegal, especially in public schools, but yet they're still doing it anyways, which is still against the federal law. But they're still doing it in high schools and stuff. That's it, but like if, if they teach anything conservative, they get fired, but if they teach anything liberal, they stay, which is the problem. That's why many of our country young populations are becoming more and more liberal. Religious wise, well, they're, uh, they're, they, they don't they're, really they're not religious in China, so it doesn't matter. Well, China, no, China do have, Chinese people do have religion. No, we'll be no, no, in China. They do have a, a sizable Christian population still. They, they yeah, probably, Catholicism we, we them and in. Confucius remnants are still around as well. But the Chinese probably people I have met are all atheists. 
Yeah, the large majority are atheists. The, the government doesn't allow you to be religious over there. It's illegal to worship any religion. No, they got so, rid of that part. No, it's still illegal, Dova. No, you look it up. I don't need to look it up. I could bring Viva the Killer in here to clarify. He lives in, literally in Yu Song Zhang. So I don't need to, to have to look it up. Uh, one second. Tom, you there? Uh, yeah, what's up? Join channel through real quick. User left your channel. User left your channel. What? I I don't I don't think so. I don't know. By that time, by this point, America will have probably be so fucked up. User joined your things, channel. Things continue in the school system. Well, my whole point of this conversation I is I think the school system should be reformed and that okay, people go in Thank you. Should thank go back. you. Thank sorry, you. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. I don't know. I uh, heard that. I, I can, my my whole back. point is I think that in in 10 years are uh, we're going to be the minority of the global population easy. We're going to be we're not going to see the Western world and as we know it collapse. It's going to be completely, as you would say, Asian washed uh, instead of whitewashed. Asian washed. I don't. I don't. I, and I'm not saying this in, in a radical perspective. My view on it is we may as well just start assimilating now because there's no hope. That's why I want to learn Mandarin. I think that we need to start assimilating now. We need to learn their culture and start embracing it now because Mandarin. in 10 years India it's going to uh, dominate. Mandarin language is actually going to start shrinking eventually. We'll get a population You're right, there's 1 billion native because, speakers, but it's going to shrink. Well, it is because Indo Indian languages are actually rising up faster than they are. The Mandarin ones. That, that, that has nothing the, to the do power, with this. The power of Adam can stop any of those things. Also, if they come here, they're learning English. The United States of Holly Dow will be making man into an official language. Yo, should I invade Baroda? To piss I'm actually off? just about to declare war again on Russia. This time for real. No, I don't remember what I said to Cade, actually. I tried to level with them. I, I tried to level with them. I told them that if we're going to make an efficiency argument in a world that values hedonism, it's illogical. But that was something different. Hey, I don't if I'm think... going to go to war with Russia, do I say what I want is the whole east coast of Russia? Yeah. Wait, I thought you were just taking Saklam. No, I no think now I'm going to go for the whole east coast. Oh, you are? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or do I have he to surrenders? Okay, Dan, he surrenders. So you're only allowed to take 20% war score. On top of the your already added war goal. Yeah. What if I want more? You can't because he surrendered. Okay. So, do can I? Am I able Is to say? Like, so am I able to pause on. the game and say I declare war for the whole East Coast? Connection lost.